Hello everyone, my name is Nomis, and welcome back to RimWorld and RimTown. The colony where things are actually going fairly well. Uh, picking up here, right where we last left off. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode. We've got a uh, Mufalo that's gone mad. Let's see where... Uh, it's going to take him a while to get in, because we have walled off this entrance, or this side of the colony, that's good. And uh, I believe last episode we got some cows, a bull and a cow. Where's that Mufalo? He's just wandering around out here. Alright, we'll, we'll let him uh, do his thing over there. He's not bothering us. Uh, I think we set up some more storage, some more specialized storage in here. As you can see, we've got lots of steel on hand, lots of wood, uh, a fair amount of stone. Uh, well, a little bit of stone. And let's see... I set up a couple more grow zones because it is getting close to winter. We're currently in fall and we're going to need as much food as we can get because we are still still struggling to uh, get enough food. Now one option for us uh, would be to build ourselves an indoor grow op, uh, which we might do today. I think that would probably be a good idea. We do have a lot of space down here. I think I want to keep a little bit of area just to uh, have the cows chill out in. They could probably just chill out down there. Uh, so let's go to our zones. Expand allowable area, animal area, uh, for cows. All right, let's expand it down there and we're going to clear the rest of this. And we're going to build a uh, grow up inside here. I think is what we'll do. We've got our orbital beacon here right there we might move that um, well I suppose it's okay there it's close to uh, the storage areas I guess that's the main thing so let's keep that there and then we'll build maybe a grow up down in here so we've got some marble we've got some slate uh, we're currently making more sandstone I did set up a, a second stone cutters table in there and we should start building more of the buildings out of uh, stone. So let's go structure, sandstone. We'll make a sandstone grow up in here and we'll restart, start researching hydroponics. So let's go like that. And we'll make it, uh, we'll make it fairly big. Let's go that big for now. We'll see how many, uh, stations we can set up in here so we'll open that up and maybe uh, put an opening down here there we go put on some uh, sandstone doors now let's take a look at our research we're currently researching gun turret cooling so after we're done that, I think we'll move on to hydroponics, which is only 700, so that should go pretty quick. Gun turret cooling is one of the, or yeah, one of the higher ones. Uh, we should be researching hospital beds too as soon as possible. Still got uh, a fair amount of medicine, as you can see up there and in our infirmary. And another thing I want to do is start putting some actual floors into our buildings because we haven't done that yet really we've smoothed out floors which is good but uh we can actually put like wood floor in uh, we can make concrete floors mufalo revenge all right who's who's getting attacked here whitney don't kill yourself whitney all right you go go get healed up we could do wood floors, uh, the concrete floors only takes one steel, we have lots of steel, so we could do that. Let's see what else we got here, metal tile takes five steel, marble, we have some slate stone, should we make some slate? Let's put the, let's put wood floor in the bedrooms, I think that'll be good. So we'll put, oh yes, we do need a smooth floor anyway before we can put this floor down, so it's a good thing we did did that. Uh, actually, no, this one doesn't need to be wood floor. We can put something else in there. Let's do a wood floor 
inside the uh, infirmary as well. That'll look good. We're low on food. We're down to four meals. We got a little bit of uh, frozen meat on hand and a few potatoes. Literally only a few potatoes. So yeah. Need to get more food. Definitely need to get more food. Let's go hunt uh, that squirrel. We are uh, getting some milk though from the cows, so that should help with some of the uh, food situation, I would think. Tortoise and the squirrel, we can hunt both of those. That's our pet. No, it's not. All right, let's hunt that guy. Hare, we can hunt him. Tortoise. All right, let's hunt those guys. Lots of power generation going on here with our geothermal generator. So that's good. We've also got a lot of uh, solar panels up. We've got three wind turbines that are Looks like they're producing about 50% capacity right now. Let's take a look at some of the other production items we can make here. So Butcher Taylor, Smithing, uh, a Smithing Bench. We have one of those down here already, don't we? Yeah, I think we have all these items. Let's go Smithing. Let's turn this on. Should make, a, we could make a couple more bows, I guess. Let's make five, because I do have a couple people without weapons, uh, namely Axel, he's one of them. And he is uh, actually a decent hunter, uh, so it'd be good to get him a bow until we get some more guns. Still got lots of uh, stone chunks here, so no, uh, doesn't look like we'll be running out of that anytime soon. They've started work on building this up. Let's uh, go ahead and assign these trees to be cut down. And most of the flooring has gone in now. Or, well, the infirmary, I guess, is, has gone in. Still got this stuff to do. Our three pets are <laughs> exploring around. Uh, we've got our alpaca here, uh, currently being trained on obedience and release. Some work to do there still. Alright, Axel is getting all this. Axel and Big Red are good construction workers. They're doing very well. Alright, let's see what else can we do for floors here. Gold tile. Sterile tile. Ooh. Keep the room clean. Very useful in hospitals to prevent patients from getting various infections. Oh. Oh, that's 15 silver though. We don't have a lot of silver. What's this? That's silver right there. Here, let's um, start getting some silver, because that would be good to have a sterile floor in the uh, hospital room. Get some gold. What else is nearby? There's a bunch of steel down here I suppose we could get. Let's use up this steel first, though. Alright, what other kind of floors can we put in, guys? For the uh, eating room, probably just a, uh, a wood floor in there, in the dining room. We could do maybe a uh, concrete floor in the storage rooms. Use up some of this metal. That in there. Quite ugly. Well, I'm not too worried if uh, the storage rooms are ugly. Not too worried. You can put some uh, marble tile in the uh, hallways. That could look good. What kind of floor should we put in here? Metal tile. Pretty but labor and material intensive. Maybe in the research rooms? Metal tile? Let's do that. It takes 280 for that room. 
275 for that room. Another colonist. I need treatment. Nomis. What happened to Nomis? What happened to you, buddy? Did you, uh, did something fall on you? Plague. A plague. Ugh. Someone help Nomis. Who's our doctors? Right, we got good doctors on hand. Alright, treat uh, Nomis here. Minor plague. 39% immunity. There we go. Getting all this stuff looking a bit nicer now. Uh, that's still coming along. I might want to put one more person on crafting. Let's put uh, John on crafting too. He probably won't ever get there because he's got all this other work to do. How's our food going? We're down to six meals still. But uh, we got um, enough food here for another, maybe a, maybe a dozen. Make sure you have a medical bed and a doctor and make sure no one gets proper treatment. Spend as much time in bed as possible. Yeah, we need to get a uh, medical bed researched. Okay, everyone to bed. Hopefully, Nomis can pull through this. 45% immunity. He might develop immunity fairly quickly here. Speed up time a bit more. So hopefully the plague doesn't spread. Get out of control. Another mad animal. Uh, tortoise. He's pretty far away. It'll take him a long time to get up to us. What else can we be focusing on? We need to get someone researching here. So let's take Whitey or Whitney. Uh, let's take a stomp off of mining, growing, cooking, and handling. We'll just have him research. Exotic Goods Trader, okay, let's uh, slow things down here. We will get whoever King is to go talk to them. See what they've got for sale. We got a little bit of silver, 1143. Not a lot. Some, a telescope. For doing amateur astronomy, it's a relaxing and fun hobby for a certain kind of person. It's a uh, cheap price. Might be interesting to buy. This is the trader that we need uh, to sell our sculptures to once we get around to doing that. Not there yet. Power armor helmet, too expensive. Should we buy uh, maybe a couple prosthetics? Might be worth it to buy a couple prosthetics. So we may end up losing some stuff down the road. Let's buy an arm and a leg and a kidney. Now will this stuff, uh, does this stuff degrade? Not sure. But let's, let's buy these three things. That's uh, 900 silver. We'll just store those in uh, with this stuff here. So no body parts. Yeah, body parts. Toss that stuff in there. Uh, this stuff will degrade over time, so we get to get it inside as soon as possible. Move that stuff in. Speed up time again. Finishing up the flooring. Looks like that's almost all done. Just need to, uh, oh no, this is done too. Still hovering around six meals. But at least we have some more uh, animal meat. Animal carcasses in there. Uh, it's still frozen, which is good. That's still frozen. So coolers are doing well. This research is almost complete. Let's see if he can finish it in the morning when he wakes up. 
All right, let's pause it for a second. Let's just take a look at everyone's needs. Slept in the cold, feeling bad. Slept in the cold, feeling terrible. I just feel terrible right now, no apparent reason. All right, so it looks like we got to uh, do something about the heat. It's only nine degrees inside. So let's build ourselves a heater. I think we'll put a couple heaters in the hallway and crank them up. See if that does anything. Um, yeah, let's do that. We'll start. We'll start off in the hallways. See if that increases the heat at all. I'll put um, maybe one down here and one down there. We'll see if that can warm up the rooms from the hallway. Not sure if it'll work or not. Uh, I should put... Um, a marble block. Just put something there. And close that hallway up there. Our games room still waiting to be completed. Looks like we're waiting on some cloth. And we have a raid inbound. All right, let's take a look. We got two people inbound, so that's not going to be a problem for us. Oh, we got a rotting carcass there. Should be uh, picking that up. There's a lot of animals down here. Wow, look at all those animals. It's crazy. Look at all those mufalo too. It'd be nice if they could come up towards us. All right, let's see where these guys are going. They're staging. Oh, we got three people. Cambiar, Lair, and Lax. So they're going to come from this direction. All right, let's see. Oh, no, they're going up. Nope. Two of them are going down. Oh, Lair does not know where he's going. Oh, they're taking the long way around. All right, here we go. It has begun. We have a lot of turrets, though, so we should be fine. Headshot up there. Lax will be going down soon. This guy's dead. Let's pause it. There's a bow. Right, let's pick that up. Another meal. Uh, is this guy dead? No, he's just knocked out. Okay, good. Let's pick up that bow as well. King, looks like we've got ourselves another captive. Okay, perfect. And this other guy, he just booked it out of here. All right, gun turret cooling is now complete. Let's move on to hydroponics. Do this quickly and then we'll do the hospital bed after that. I don't know where that other guy went. I think he just ran away. All right, let's take a look at this prisoner. Just slow things down a bit. 99 difficulty, all right, well, we'll, we'll try. But I don't want to give him actual medicine. How about herbal medicine or worse? Get them all patched up. Took quite a few wounds there. Shot off his right index finger. All right, so he'll he should pull through. Probably won't be able to recruit him. We'll most likely end up selling him. Uh, speaking of selling, there is some more silver here to mine out. So let's get that. Uh, looks like there's some more gold here too. Get that. We've used about half of our steel. So it might be worth it to uh, mine out another big chunk. There's some down here. Exotic Goods Trader, another one, okay. Uh, where is King? King, go talk to the people. Let's see what we got here. Don't have enough to really buy anything, but... Um, very cheap for the gold. All right, we won't sell that. We'll hold on to that. Try and find a better price. Uh, Psychic Animal Pulsar. One use artifact that drives all animals in the region into a manhunting rage. 
by a boomalope. Engineer for chemical production, the boomalope grows a large sack of volatile chemicals on its back. Dog, oh, these are our dogs, okay. Do we want to buy a boomalope? Oh, we don't have quite enough money for that. We have enough money for a capybara, though. I don't know. I think we'll hold on to our money for now. Hold on to it for now. Get rid of that. We'll let them uh, continue on with their daily tasks. How are these crops coming along? 50, 60%, 75, 70. Be a while before we get another crop of herbal medicine. 50, 29. I got corn here and potatoes there. Forgot to mention that before. Still only six meals on hand. Oof. This is, uh... This is rough. Alright, we should have a few more bows now, right? Okay, let's go through everyone. See what they've got for weapons. Alright, John is a hunter. He's got the survival rifle, that's fine. Gnomus has a plasteel knife, that's fine. King has a pistol. Should I put him on... Uh... He's the warden. I might put him on hunting too. Big red. It's a steel knife. Okay. Stomp has a pistol. No, he's not that good of a hunter. Whitney has a bow. You're a hunter. Axel. You, you're okay. You're the only one who doesn't have anything. I'm gonna put you on hunting. I'm gonna give you a bow. So what are our two options here? A great bow, I think. Let's grab that. And let's head down to where these all these animals are. Let's hunt some mufalo. Yeah, let's select those. Need to stockpile some food here, guys. Uh, medical treatment, uh, what happened here? What's happening to you? Is it the plague? Immunity, 96%. Very close. Alright, well, you should be resting, Gomez. Go rest until you're healed. Don't want you dying on us. Uh, so things look pretty good here. I think we can put down uh, the last of our wooden flooring in this room. There and there. All right, who else we got? King. Looks like King has got a uh, blood loss. Cut by gra oh, so he just got shot by someone else while hunting. That's fine. Disease infection lax has developed an infection of the torso. That's our prisoner. Okay. Food poisoning as well. Minor infection, 2% immunity. Let's see if he pulls through. I'm not too worried if he doesn't. It'd be nice to sell him before he dies, but. Oh, King. Oh, no, that's the same one, right? Yeah, cut by a great bow. Well, at least we got the move below. That's the main thing. All right, go get yourself healed up, King. Go rest. Another move below. Awesome. Two more move below. Great. Just in time. We were running low on food. We were down to 11 units of meat there. Tortoise meat at that. So that should give us uh, a few more, few more meals. Yeah. Continuing to go well. Alright. What's the temperature in here now? Plus 12. Is that, uh, is that any better for you guys? Slept in the cold still, hey? Uh, 21. Let's crank it up a bit here. 
go five. Twenty five. Twenty five. See how warm that makes it inside these rooms. Plus 13. I guess it's daylight too, so it'll be getting warmer anyway. See if that works. If not, I guess we'll put uh, individual heaters in each room. Uh, it'd be good to get a second geothermal generator up too. So uh, we could probably do that uh, on this one maybe. Let's get uh, some wood chop in here. Cut all those trees down. King is fully healed. Nice. Gnomus has developed immunity. Alright, that's good. We'll let him continue to rest, though. At least he has the immunity, though. That's the main thing. Alright, Stomp is uh, continuing his research. That's good. We'll have to start working on getting some proper clothes too soon. Uh, we can probably put some wood floor in the prison. And uh, maybe in the storage rooms for the food. Wood would be fine. Alright, how much silver is this going to take? Can we just do this now? 840, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of silver. Is there more here to mine out? Yes, there is. Let's he'll get back to that. Uh, we should probably remove uh, the roof. Clear no roof area. Expand no roof area. Nothing can remove thick roofs. Oh, okay, so they just have to fall by themselves, I guess. Alright, how's the hunting going, guys? Did you get some more Mufalo? No. Oh my god, there's a lot of blood down here. <laughs> it's been a slaughter. <laughs> Look at all these animals, though. Look at all those Zs. Alright, let's, uh, let's pick out a few more of them to hunt. Good to tame a buffalo. Training. Uh, okay, they got obedience. Might as well continue training these guys. Big Red is their master. How's your training coming? Alright, you got that. Nice. Uh, requires trainable intelligence. Advanced. Alright, so we, we don't have a, a good enough... Tr um, trainer yet. A pirate merchant, okay. Maybe we can sell off our prisoner to this guy. Is King around base? Or is he down hunting? Let's bring him back if he is. Yes. Alright. He's got his uh, meat. Pick up that guy. He's also dead. We'll keep an eye on these Mufalo. So I guess when they bleed out... Uh, you need to uh, designate them to be picked up. Alright, King, once you're done with that, go talk to the pirate merchant. We'll see if we can sell off this prisoner. Yes, we can for 584 silver. I'm going to do it as 99 difficulty, 1% chance of recruiting them. I don't think it's worth it. He's only taking up food. So we'll sell this guy off. Uh, we've got an awful SMG. Mm. I think that's worth it. Alright, we'll just do this trade. Get some more silver. Get rid of that prisoner. And let's just wait for this uh, hydroponic stuff to finish up. I do need... Make parka. Where's our stone cutters table? 
I need sandstone chunks, guys. Alright, let's focus on making some sandstone. Crafting, crafting. Alright, I'm gonna take Axel off hunting for now. I need more stone. I need Axel to do some stone work. Alright, there's our hydroponics. We'll do our hospital bed next. And once we get this built, we can make our start building our hydroponics. Let's just see how many we can fit in there. So production, hydroponic basin. We go one, two. Yeah, we could do two across. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could do fourteen trays. That's a lot. All right, that should be a good size then. Uh, let's get uh, miscellaneous sun lamps. All right, well, we'll set up the hydroponics first, and then we'll put in the sun lamps. All right, good. Lots of mufalo in here. That's good to see. Any other dead ones? All right, that guy's dead. He needs to be picked up. So we'll probably just uh, end this episode here, guys. We'll come back next time to finish our hydroponics room. Hopefully Axel will get some more sandstone made. More sandstone blocks. We've got some more silver to mine out there. Some more gold. We'll set up uh, one or two more geothermal generators here. And then, uh, then for sure we should have more than enough power. We're kind of sitting around the same power levels right now. It's slowly increasing during the day, our stored rate. So at least we're making more than we're consuming. But we could use some more. So thanks all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Leave me some comments below. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.